When you buy Smart Analysis, you receive the tablet with Android operating system, the case with your Smart Analysis, all the reagent kits you ordered, and any accessories that are included in your package, such as the centrifuge and the gasser. With what you find inside the case and in the reagent kits, you have everything you need to run your analysis. In particular, in the case, you will find the optical device, thus the smart analysis, the pipettes for sampling, the white cuvette holder and the charger for your device. The tablet you receive is a regular new tablet, so before you can install your application you need to activate it and set the language. Now let us see step by step how to perform all these passages. Start the tablet. The first thing you have to do is connect it to a Wi-Fi network. Once you have connected to a network, you have to accept all the conditions and enter a Google account. The Google account can be an account you already have or one you can create on the spot. Once you have entered your account, you can continue by following the display on the tablet, accept all the conditions and, at the moment when it asks you to create a Samsung account, you can skip the step because it's not necessary. At this point, you can skip creating the Samsung account. Once you are done with the initial setting, you are on the main page, at which point you can access Google Play Store and search for the Smart Analysis application, which you will recognize by its red icon. Download it to your tablet and install it. The operation takes a few seconds, and once you have installed it, you can open it. When you start the app again, it asks you to accept and give access to certain functions. Accept everything. The first thing it asks you to do is to activate your Smart Analysis account. So, frame the QR code you find under the lid of your uh, box and activate uh, the application. Now you can sign up, so click on register, enter all the information that is requested, like first name, last name, a username which must be between 5 and 15 characters, an email address, it is very important that you use this email address often, as it will be the one we will use for all important communication relating to smart analysis. On the email you have entered, you will receive an email from us, and inside you will find the link through which you can set your account password. So, enter the link and set your password by writing it twice. The password must have at least 8 characters, including a number, a special symbol that you can choose from the classic symbols such as exclamation mark, question mark, etc. Once you have set the password, you can log in to the page where you are with uh, your username and password and within this page you will be in your environment on our cloud. So when you make your analysis, all the results that uh, you upload to your cloud page will be displayed in this place. Go back to the app and enter your username and password here as well, and log in. Accept the conditions and you are on the main page of the app. Once you are 
you are in Europe, you can switch on the tool instrument. To switch it on, you have a lever that you have to slide from left to right and after a few seconds you will see a flashing green light that starts blinking. Go back to the tablet on the app and the first thing we recommend is to turn off the Wi-Fi and click on the arrow next, next to the word Smart Analysis device nearby. When you click on the arrow, you will see that the app starts to search for the Smart Analysis device. A code appears underneath, which is the one that represents your instrument. Click on the code and give the OK for the Bluetooth connection. At this point, you run a, a diagnostic phase in which the, apps, the app checks that everything on your device is working properly. And at the end of the first diagnostic phase, a 15 minutes timer starts. In this timer, you cannot do any analysis. This time is necessary uh, to stabilize the instrument sources and warm up the reading cell to the correct temperature of 37 degrees. On the main screen of the app, you will find on the right all five buttons that we will see later. On the left hand side, you will find all the information about your account and the instrument you are using. On the top right, you will find the battery and cell temperature indication. In this case, the battery is low, so you can connect your instrument via the charger provided and use it while connected. Fully charging the instrument takes about 3 hours and when fully charged, the battery provides between 7 and 8 hours of work. For proper use, it is recommended, as with all battery systems, not to use it always connected to the power supply, but to disconnect it when charged. At this point you are ready to begin your analysis. Take the kit you are interested in and open the box. Inside the kit you will find two blister packs containing 10 cuvettes each for a total of 20 analyses, the yellow disposable tips for taking the sample and all the dropper reagents you need for this kit. You have to take from the blister pack the number of cuvettes equal to the number of samples you want to analyze. As you can see, the cuvettes are pre-infilled, so the first reagent you need is infilled by us. Place the cuvettes on the cuvette holder so that we are comfortable handling the samples and start with the analysis. You have to click on New Analysis to start the procedure and scan the QR code that is printed on each blister. This allows the application to start the guided procedure and to load all the data of the reagent batch that was used in order to have full traceability. Once the analysis procedure is started, it is necessary to follow the screens that are proposed by the app step by step. On the first step, you can enter important information related to the analysis you are performing. This information is not mandatory, but you can put it in at your discretion. When you get to the screen where the app asks you whether you want to give single analysis or parallel analysis, you can choose whether to analyze one sample after another in sequence or to analyze 10 samples at the same time. To do the analysis in parallel, you need an additional device, an accessory, an incubator that allows you to keep up to 10 samples at a temperature of 37 degrees. In this case, we choose single analysis and continue. 
At this point, the app shows you all the material you need to carry out the analysis, which you can prepare on your workbench so that you have everything you need uh, when you start with the manual operation. Continue. Set the number of samples you want to analyze for this parameter and give a specific name to each of them. We now came to the first manual step required, so follow the step indicated by the app in the same order in which they are proposed to you. Open the cuvette. Make sure to touch the cuvette from the sides with the knurling and not from the smooth side. Take a yellow disposable pipette tip without touching the tip with your fingers. Insert it into the pipette of the color required by the app. Pipettes have a fixed volume, so they do not need to be adjusted. Take your sample, press the plunger, Dip the tip at least halfway into the sample and release gently. With a clean cloth or piece of paper, wipe out the outside of the tip to remove the excess drops. Dip the tip into the reagent in the vial and press the plunger at least three times to mix the sample with reagent. You can then throw away the yellow tip and continue. For this analysis, the app asks you to add two drops of R2 reagent. To add them, you simply take the dropper, turn it upside down so that it is perfectly vertical and with gentle pressure, drip the number of drops required by the app. Continue with the screens. Mix by inversion and insert the sample into the instrument with the smooth side facing the Smart Analysis logo on the inclined wall. All waiting times are managed by the app, so in this case you only have to wait for the timer to end. We said that the sample must be filtered, so if necessary you can use paper cone filters or a centrifuge which speeds up the filtering operation. On the other hand, when it is necessary to degas the sample, you can use an ultrasonic degasser which, thanks to its vibrations, speeds up the process of CO2 release. At this point, the last step of the analysis requires you to add the R3 reagent with the dropper, so proceed exactly as you did with the R2 reagent previously. Turn the dropper upright, press down lightly and drain. Always invert to mix the reagents you have added and place back into the instrument with the smooth side towards the logo. Once the waiting time is over, the application automatically reads the sample and returns the result, which you can see on the summary screen. If you have set up several samples, you can start reading the second sample immediately from here. If you have finished all the samples, you can end the analysis. In the final screen, you already have the possibility to download and share the results in different formats. Let us see now how the different formats can be managed via the archive. In the archive, all results are saved automatically by the application. So, start up the Wi-Fi and enter the archive section. Select the analysis session you are interested in and at the top right you will find all the options for managing the results. Let's start with a PDF that you can create and share directly from this session. Then you can export the data in Excel format 
so select Excel or CSV format at your discretion. You can share it or keep it on your tablet. The last option is to upload the results on your cloud page. So once you uploaded it, you can then review them by accessing cloud.dnaphone.it. Go back to the main archive screen and at the bottom right you will find a green folder containing all exported Excel files. From here you can select the ones you are interested in and share them in a single email. Now let's look at all the other buttons you'll find on the home page. Let's start with the Orders button, where you will find the entire list of accessories, reagents and services that you can purchase. From here you proceed with your order, placing it directly from the application. In the account section you will find all the information relating to your account, like all the parameters that you have chosen to activate on your application, those that you do not have active. While on the left you will see a summary of all analysis you have done so far. Finally, in the communication section you will find links to the video tutorials, so at any time you can go and watch the video tutorials that interest you you will find all the documents, manuals and guidelines you need to carry out the analysis without making mistakes. On the right you will find a button that allows you to suggest smart analysis to your colleagues or friends who may be interested in our solution. At this point we are done, so you can switch the instrument off. In the top right hand corner you will find the shutdown button. You click it and at the moment uh, when the application tells you that you can physically switch off smart analysis you can proceed with the physical switch off. Once this is done you can close the application and you're finished with your operations.